privilege does not mean that your life is not hard. Nobody is saying that your life is not hard. I keep saying white privilege because I'm not the one who called the police. Well, can I'm you not finish. Sure. Go um, ahead. It means that your life is not hard because of your skin color. So, black and like if Regina and I acted the way you did, uh, we would have been arrested or worse. When yeah. black and brown people act in those ways, <laughs> it's arrested yep. or worse. Okay. But the definition up there said a Karen. A Karen uses, um, calls the police to police people's behavior. And when actually it was a black woman who was calling the police on a white woman policing my behavior. Well, because they asked you to leave the store and you didn't yep. leave. But we got distracted because I was being berated by these two individuals. Can I ask you something? Yes, ma'am. you flinched when I said um, white privilege. Do you, do you not understand what white privilege is? No, I don't. Um, okay. Because I could tell you my situation right now. My husband left, left me penniless, raising three children. I don't have it um, good at all. I make self-sacrifices. Don't get my hair done. Don't get my nails done. Thank you, Dr. Phil Show. Um, there's all kinds of sacrifices that I make, and I don't use white privilege. What I try to use is communication to communicate with somebody. And if you have a subordinate who cannot answer a question, then I'm going to ask for a manager who can answer it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Here, it should here's not be what done I would like parent. to say to you. You know, if, if you're born and raised in America, okay, mm -hmm. I am a 72-year-old black woman, mm -hmm. and I am moderately biased, according to the Harvard uh, bias thing online, towards white children. And the reason is, I grew up in America, just mm -hmm. there's no way that I can be biased towards white children and not have come out of that sausage factory that we all come out of called public education. This is America. This is who we are. Yeah, and mm. I want to add just so I, I'm not throwing stones at all. Mm. I have non-black privilege. Okay, I don't, I don't have white skin and I don't have black skin. I have brown skin. So I have privilege because I'm not black. Okay, in the hierarchy of America, you've got white at the top, you've got black at the bottom, and you've got everyone in between. And the quicker we can acknowledge these things, Dr. Phil, you say this, you cannot change what, what you, you don't acknowledge. Yeah. So why can't we just acknowledge it and take the feelings out of it so we can actually stop having police brutality and the beating and killing of black and brown people for no reason? You want the Karen, the, the trend of Karen to be over? You're sick of that? You know what we're sick of? Racism. We're sick of racism. Well, let me tell you. I did a... I did a show on white privilege, and I had to shut my message boards down. I bet you do. You're aware. Um, do you, not, you, you don't get that, though, because you were shaking your head. I don't, I don't really understand why we keep talking about racism in the first place. I know it exists, OK? <laughs> I, listen, I know, but. Well, that's I, what I, the show's about. Well, no, I, I, I thought it was about Karen. You can't what you don't talk Karen's, about. Can you imagine being in a relationship with anybody and never talking about the hard stuff? Can you, can you even imagine what that would be? My because Lord. you can afford to be indifferent because you are a white woman. Because I'm white? Yep, yep. You can be indifferent. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.